The man accused of killing 19-year-old Latasha Roundtree admitted today that he pulled the trigger. Taj Ross took the stand in his own defense, conceding that he killed Roundtree but didn't mean to. Latasha Roundtree died after being shot on her way to a party in 2012. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett shows us the shocking admission Ross made to the courtroom. The first and only witness to defense called to the stand today. He gave an hour and a half long testimony that was nothing short of dramatic. You're done, you pull the trigger, you fire, and now Latasha Roundtree's dead, right? <laughs> It was a stunning admission after a series of blistering questions by the prosecution. But tonight, Taj Ross says the death of Latasha Roundtree as she rode down the street looking for a party was an accident. I'll let the fireman the rest of the fire in the air above. Taj says he was lifting up to fire because the car seemed suspicious and rolled down its back window. He and his friends heard threats of someone coming to shoot up the party. You're telling the court and everybody here that even though you saw no one pointed a gun, nobody threatened you, nothing come out of the white car, nobody shot at you, nobody showed you a gun, nobody threatened you with a gun, that you were acting in defense. Yes, Ross says he shot in the air because his friend and co-defendant Liban Muhidin was standing in the way. But you didn't shoot Liban. So Liban wasn't in front of you, was he? Yes, he was, sir. He would have had to have been on the ground, otherwise you would have shot him, correct? No, sir. The prosecution pressed for an explanation for the bullet that hit Roundtree. Mr. Ross, are you telling the court here today and everybody in this courtroom that this was some kind of unfortunate lucky shot? Yes, sir. Do you think that's believable? Yes, sir. It's not a lucky shot. It's not something you didn't mean to do. Isn't it intentional? I don't know about that. I don't know. The defense rested its case today, so closing arguments will begin on Monday. And as this is a bench trial, the judge will make the verdict. We're covering the corridor tonight in Cedar Rapids. Jason Hackett, CBS 2 News.